So in the last video we left off being able to send messages, in this video we're going to learn how to receive them. So we need to create a new page first. So we go to our text editor, we want to create a new page. And here we have our new page called My Messages. We're going to copy the old send messages page and just paste it in here because it has some of the things we already need, such as being able to check if the user's logged in. And we're going to delete this PHP code and we're going to delete this form. So here we have our My Messages page. So what we want to do is select all of the messages from the database where the receiver is the user who's logged in. So to do that, what we're going to do is create some PHP code and we're going to run a query. We're going to say messages equals DB query. Select all from messages where receiver equals receiver and receiver is going to be the user ID. Then in here, what we're going to do is loop through all the messages. So we're going to say for each messages as message. Now we can refer to every message as message. We can just print our message. And we just need to change this to an array. And now we'll refresh and you can see we have no messages. The reason for that is because if we go to the database, the receiver is three and the receiver is in this case how code. If I go to users, you can see that and we're logged in as Francis. So what we want to do is we want to actually get where the sender is one or the receiver is three because whenever you send a message, you want it to show up in your messages as well. So what we'll do is we'll say select all for messages where receiver equals receiver or sender equals sender and sender is going to be user ID as well. And now if we refresh, we can see the messages either that I've sent or the messages that I've received. So what we're going to do is print out every message. So we're going to say echo messages body like this, and then we're going to print out a horizontal line underneath it. And we just need to change that to message. So there's our two messages. We're going to print out the message body. Then we're going to append on a string and we're going to say from, and we're going to print out the user who sent the message, which in this case is going to be message. And we're going to say message username. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this query, paste it in here, and we're going to change receiver to one and sender to one just for this purpose. And if we run that, we'll get exactly what we had before. But what we also want to do is select messages.all, and then we want to select users.username from messages and users. And now if I run that, we get everything from the messages table and then we get usernames from the users table. Then we need to amend our where clause to say where receiver equals one or sender equals one and users.id equals messages.sender. And now we run that and we can see the sender of each message was Francis. So now if I copy and paste this query back and I just put it on one line and then we change it from sender equals one and receiver equals one to sender equals sender and receiver equals receiver. And now if we run that, we'll have access to the username column and we run this now. And now you can see it says hello world from Francis. So we want to make these messages links. So we're going to append on another string and then here we're going to say a href. It's going to point to the current page, which is my messages.php question mark and we're going to say mid for message id equals and then in here we're going to append on a new variable message id like that and then obviously we want to close off our link so now we have two links we also want to bold links from messages that are on red so to do that what we want to do is just copy this echo and we want to say if message red equals zero then it's unread, so we'll echo that. Otherwise, we'll echo it again. But we're going to make the first echo bold, so we're going to just change this to strong and change that to strong. So now if we run this, they've both been bolded because they're both unread. But if I go into the table and I change the second one to red, which is a one, now you can see it's unbolded because it's been read. And what we'll do is just move this link from there to after the bold tag so that the only bit that's clickable is the message title. So at the minute we're displaying the entire message on the My Messages page and what we want to do is sort of display a title which is going to be a shortened version of that. So we're going to just, instead of displaying the entire message, we're going to display M and then up here what we'll do is we'll say if strlen of body message is greater than or equal to 10, we'll actually say greater than 10, then we'll say M is equal to the substring of message body. We're going to get the first 10 characters and then what we're going to do is append on three dots. Otherwise, we'll just say M equals message. So we'll run that. And now you can see hello world has just been shrunk because it was more than 10 characters and we have three dots now at the end of it. But hello wasn't affected because it was less than 10 characters. So now if we click on this, we want to be able to see the entire message. So what we'll do is we'll go up here and we'll say if is set get MID. Then what we'll do is we'll run a special query that says DB query select all from messages where id equals mid and then here we want to add in our array we want to say mid is equal to mid and we want to store the output of that query in a variable called message and we only are going to have one message return which is going to have an id of zero and then what we'll do is we'll echo message body 
and then we'll echo that. Otherwise, we'll run the rest of the page. This way, we only see my messages if MID isn't set in the address bar. So now if we run it, we see hello world, but if we take that away, we see my messages. And then what we'll do is we'll just echo another header. We'll say view message, and then we'll give them the option to reply. And before we uh, do that, we want to just put in HTML special chars just to prevent cross-site scripting. And then what we want to do is echo a horizontal line maybe. And then we want to have a form. But we already have a form on our send message page. So we could just simply copy and paste this form, close the PHP tags, open them again. And then in here, we can just paste in some HTML that goes to our send message page and replies to the user. And instead of using get receiver, we'll just say message sender. And let's run this and see what happens. So now we can reply, we can say thanks for your message. This message came from a user with an ID of one. So now if I send that, it says message sent, but it took us to the send message page. If I go back to my messages, there is the message I just sent. But we do have a slight bug, so we need to fix that. So the reason for that error is because the sender and the receiver were the same. So what we could do is when we echo out the sender, we could echo out some random ID variable and we could say if message sender equals user ID, then we'll say ID equals message receiver else ID equals message sender. This way our message receiver and sender can't be the same person. So if we just for the sake of the video, we'll just change the receiver and we'll run this. We'll say hello again. We'll click send message. It says message sent. We go to my messages and there we can see is the new message. Hello again. So instead of saying from, we could change that to sent by. And then finally, when we view a message, what we want to do is do a query that says DB query update messages set red equal to one where where id equals mid and then we'll just run the array here so that should set the red to one and finally when we're viewing a message we're checking where the id of the message is the id in the address bar but what we also want to do is check where the receiver equals receiver or sender equals sender because we only want certain people to be able to read the messages so here we just want to put in receiver and that's going to be user ID. And then we want to put in sender and that's going to be user ID. So we just need to put in back ticks here for some reason. So if we just save that and we refresh and we click on one of these, for example, hello, and we go back, you can see the arrow's gone, but if we go back, now it's been red because it's no longer bold. Later on in the series, we might end up doing something more advanced, like for example, adding notifications to the messaging feature or showing messages in chains, depending on the user ID of the person who sent them or things like that. But we've kept things quite simple in this video. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.